Romero will be 43 next month. Adesanya, the taller man by four inches. Both fighters making championship weight. Six and a half inch reach advantage resides with the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell Jr., Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Sally Amato, Chris Lee, and Ron McCarthy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliotta. This championship bout is sponsored by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And Universal Pictures, The Hunt, in theaters, March 13th. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena, in Las Vegas, Nevada! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner a mixed martial artist holding a professional record 13 wins four losses he stands six feet tall weighing in at 185 pounds fighting out of coconut florida by way of Pinar del rio cuba presenting the 2000 olympics freestyle wrestling silver medalist and the number three ranked middleweight contender in the world Soldier of God, Romero! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. An undefeated mixed martial artist, holding a perfect professional record. 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 and one half pounds. Fighting! out of Auckland, New Zealand, by way of Lagos, Nigeria, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Ladies and gentlemen, in the center, please. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all time. I want you to protect yourselves at all time. I want to touch gloves. Good job. See you in the corners. Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm man. telling you. I'm, I'm so, telling you. I'm so My sorry. heart is beating Can't be so good fast. for the long-term health. My goosebumps. <laughs> it is crazy what this job does to you. <laughs> Can't Especially do too many. <laughs> Can't do like too this. many of them. For a fight like this. Man. It's nothing like a UFC championship on pay-per-view. Yeah. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Brew. For those with a fighting spirit, Yoel Romero out of the Southpaw stance in white. Israel Adesanya going orthodox early. He is in the black and gold befitting a champion. Dude, Look at Yoel. Look at Yoel, man. I'm telling you, it's like, what's he doing? Look at Yoel. <laughs> He's giving you something to think about. I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I mean. <laughs> the women had thrown 100 strikes by this point in the fight. Yes, they had already it. gotten going. He looks like he's 220 pounds right now. <laughs> he looks big. Adesanya believes that this fight is going to be a battle of rhythm. I got to impose mine on him. He wants to pressure him, but it's got to be the right pressure. I mean, Adesanya is a quote machine. Says he may be built for fighting. I've been bred for fighting. Yeah, Izzy's a great interview. He understands that you all wants to fight at a slower pace. He just needs to find the right time to 
make the pace a little bit faster without putting himself at too much risk because of how dangerous Yoel is. Well, what you talked about before is what I'm interested in. Is Yoel going to use his wrestling? Because that would be the, the biggest flip, right? Yeah. The one thing that he hasn't used, he's such a spectacular wrestler, but very rarely do you ever see it in mixed martial arts, in his mixed martial arts career. Yeah, we just see his striking. We saw him with Frank Chimizo at the Open Workout, who's a phenomenal world champion, Cuban wrestlers for Italy, I think. And uh, uh, at his training camp, I saw him doing a lot more wrestling than he normally does. So maybe that's the idea, but he has to find a way to start engaging Izzy in the wrestling sequences. So two minutes have gone by. Yoel Romero has not attempted a strike. This crowd's spoiled. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, they've gotten spoiled tonight. But once it starts going, it's going to be good. Ooh, strong low kick by Yoel. I talked to Luke Rocco, and he said even kicking Yoel, if he checks a kick, it feels like you're kicking metal. Yeah. He said the dude's made of just like steel. Subtle stance switch from Adesanya, trying to work his way into striking range. <clears throat> I just think there's a different danger with fighting Romero, right? You know that he can take you down. You know that he can knock you out. And you've seen Izzy go at guys with a little bit more, uh, less caution in the past. And right now, he's just trying to find you all's timing. Adesanya's takedown defense just outstanding. Oh. Connection for Romero. And that's the problem, right? The moment Izzy got in the range, he got yeah. stumped. I mean, that was crazy. From just standing there to landing that punch. I mean, with Romero, you got to choose, right? Like, Paulo Costa just said to hell with it, and he just went right, after it. Right. Well, that was the most impressive <laughs> performance I've ever seen against Romero. Yeah, and... Paulo Costa is another dude made out of metal. Yes. Is he blinking out that left eye? He's touched it a couple times. And he certainly touched that lead leg of Romero there, coming up on a minute to go in round one. But like even this, right? Like as, as slow of a round as this is, Yoel has found a way to really slow Izzy down. If he can go steal a takedown now, he can put one in the bag. Izzy has to start to really let himself go a little bit and make Yoel fight. He said he's very aware that Yoel will get tired, but he will not get tired if he can fight at this pace. Nice jumping round kick to the body and it lands. Under 30 seconds to go on the round. Romero's picked a couple of spots well. But a pedestrian first round with 20 seconds to go. We were at about 600 strikes in the last one. I, yeah. I mean, at this pace, we'll be at 15. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to heat up. It has to. There's no way it's going to stay like this. I, it, should, I should not say that, though. Izzy will not allow him to do this for five rounds. Well, MMA is the theater of the unpredictable. Weird round one. How do you score that round? I mean, I do. 10 10. Can you do 10 10? You should be able to do 10 10. I mean, can you do 10 10? The scoring language discourages 10 yeah. 10s to such an extent, yeah. but yes, you can. That should be 10 10. So, is it going to be? I mean, it's four strikes landed to three for Romero. Take all the time in the world. Yeah, I mean, what do you do with that? Boom. Oh, oh my goodness. That might be the round winning strike. Well, that <laughs> might be it. And then there was the jumping round kick to the body as well. So, you might go 10 9 Romero. But if you're Romero, in terms of cardio projections and managing cardio, you got to feel pretty good 
to have those five minutes in the can without much energy expenditure at all. Well, yeah, I mean, you got right, guys, let's go. If you're, thinking, you fight. if you're thinking steel rounds, that's about as good as it gets for a guy that doesn't want to put out too much of a workload. Adesanya's going to have to take some chances. These American top team coaches just brilliant, as are the city kickboxing guys, of course. But Mike Brown, one of the best coaches under that ATT roof, has worked a lot with Romero in advance of this title fight. It's insane how Mike Brown... Oh! oh! Adesanya had landed in a big counter left from Romero. That was a big shot. Oh, man. It just keeps you on edge. The explosiveness of Yoel Romero keeps his opponents on edge. He, he just defies what people think about when it comes to aging. He doesn't. He has not aged. His head coach, Pedro Lay, has said somebody needs to study him because he's getting faster <laughs> and stronger. I mean, and you've sort of intimated as much, Joe, over the years. Like, we got to study He's this better. He, he's, he hasn't stopped improving. Well, Izzy's going to have to take some chances, though, man. I mean, he's taken two big shots from Yoel. Yoel has not shut out the lights. So obviously he can take the shot, right? He's gonna have to put himself in the line of fire a little bit, or you also gonna try to steal the stick from him. To this point, the fight being contested at Romero's pace, little flurry there from the champion. And this is what he needs to do, right? He's starting to close the range a little bit. I know it puts him in a little more danger, but it allows him to fight his fight. Ooh, there he goes. Beautiful kick to the body, beautiful inside low kick. Izzy's getting loose on the outside. Well, after tonight's main event, we'll recap all the action from Vegas on the UFC 248 post show on ESPN Plus. Chael Son and Paul Felder joining to break it all down. It's right after the main event. It's yours on ESPN Plus. Yo, I'll just try to punch him in the leg. Such a nuanced attack from Adesanya. Hard to know what's coming and from which angle. He throws a lot of feints, tries to get a read on what Romero's doing. Two and a half gone by here, round two. Romero knocked out Rob, I'm sorry. Is he knocked out Robert Whitaker? Showed that he does have a knockout ability. He does have power. But seeing Romero finish all those guys, you understand that the risk is so great that it's keeping Israel from fighting his normal style of fight. Oh. 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 Romero oh. with a lot of pressure. Oh, my goodness. He's so dangerous. People backing up in their seats as he Explodes. presses forward. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to think, though, that when Izzy put his hands up like that to defend those punches, he could have easily just grabbed the leg and sat it down. But it's almost like he refuses to use that wrestling. Why do you think that is? Have I you have ever no had a idea. conversation with him about it? I've never asked him. Please, I mean, please do. Maybe he doesn't want to put the effort, knowing how exhausting it gets over time. But, I mean, this guy's on his, you know, last title shot, you got to imagine. You gotta be willing to do everything to try to win. You would imagine that, except for the fact that he doesn't seem to be aging. And wants to fight till he's 50. Yeah, well, you know, Bernard Hopkins, he yes. says, fought till he was 51. Yeah. And he uses his, him as an example of what's possible. But first of all, that's boxing. And yes. second, Bernard is a brilliant defensive boxer. Bernard just, never got hit. He was one of the, mo <laughs> the most genius boxers ever in terms of the style that he employed, the, the, the how he was so defensive oriented and so smart that we would clinch and hold on to guys. Woo. Beautiful oh inside leg of Canal. Adesanya goes high under 40 seconds now to go round two. And as long as he's kicking, he's a little bit further away from Romero in those counters. Because Romero's not countering with kicks, right? He's throwing punches to try to hurt you. City kickboxing's Eugene Behrman thinks of everything, but you wonder if this approach from Romero has surprised them a little bit. Nice 
stick and then moved by Adesanya. Great job, great job. Okay, hold on, let him take this time. Let him take this time. Everything's good. You have to hit him with the belly, hit him with the belly. Keep those fans going. Let's make him guess. Round three brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Audio-wise, hard to pick up too much between rounds, but Joe, you maybe right, saw rounds, something. Go. Yeah, you can see there's a significant swelling on the right side of Israel's face, and they were using an end swell on it in between rounds. And that was probably from that exchange when Yoel tripped him and got him up against the cage. His left hand is his most dangerous weapon, in my opinion, other than his flying knees. Romero looked like he was going to fight with a little bit more forward pressure that round. And now he's starting to back up again. So if you're Izzy, you just start throwing those kicks again. Oh, ducks right under that high kick. Yeah, he's ducked under a few of those tonight. It's kind of crazy that that's his defense, though. He's done that in, in numerous fights. <laughs> I mean, that's... Rolling thunder. <laughs> Adesanya with an effective attack on that lead leg of Romero. Starting to show some swelling. You know, I know the pace hasn't really picked up much, but Izzy's fighting much better now, right? He's, he's mixing up his kicks. He's throwing them high, he's throwing them low. He's evading those big strikes now from Romero. Starting to fight better. Matrix-like as he avoided that last offering from Yoel. He's just got to be careful getting lulled into a false sense of security, because Yoel will show you a pace, a slow pace and then out of nowhere just launch on you. Both fighters exchange leg kicks there. But some definite respect and caution from Adesanya. And it's easy to see why. Well, he's been stung a couple times now, but he survived it. And he hasn't really been rocked. He's just been stung. I got to think that Izzy wanted to fight Romero because of the, the wrestling background, right? To show that he can handle anything. But Romero doesn't wrestle. <laughs> so maybe he wanted to fight him for the strike. It's just so weird that he doesn't wrestle. It really is. You got to watch Romero trying to reach at your leg with his right hand. Because he did that against Rockhold, right? He made Rockhold think the shot was coming and he threw the, right, the straight left that finished the fight. So you can't react too much to those, I guess I'd call them takedown attempts. Oh! Left hand from Romero, then a slip or so it appeared. Only one man has finished Romero in mixed martial arts competition, Fejiao, back in 2011. And I, I mean, I was there and I saw it was kind of a freak thing. You know, he landed a spinning elbow or something, right? Yeah, put I him believe off. so. Yeah, it was like a spinning elbow he got Romero with. Under two minutes to go here in round three. Body kick is good for Romero. And at the time, Feijal, Rafael Feijal, yeah, he was, was, one, man. He was, he was an, an absolute <laughs> assassin. And Romero was very inexperienced. Yeah, it was really it had almost no striking. Good front kick to the body by Izzy. He's really sticking that in there. Yep, Izzy could do more of that. Oh! Whack wow. to the ribs. Out of 
Sani was inside there, managing risk well. Back to the orthodox stance now. He's been, oh! Nice job to raise the kick there to the head. And the only time Izzy's been stopped is by Alex Pereira, who is a, an assassin who fights for glory. He's one of the best kickboxers on the planet. And definitely one of the best knockout artists in kickboxing. And he got caught with a vicious left hook in a fight that he was winning. Beautiful jab from Adesanya. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Right hand to the body. Is just picking up the pace yes. a little bit yep, here. Yep, and fighting better, fighting much better now. Oh! oh! Glancing head kick from Adesanya, who is having a pretty big third round now. Look at all the lighters in the audience. I mean, I don't understand what that is. I think they want more action. They're spoiled. <laughs> the people are booing. They're literally it's booing this fight. Fights. It's just because the last fight between Whaley and Joanna was so crazy. Izzy fought very well in the third round and it was behind the kicks. He landed a lot of outside leg kicks, threw some good front kicks up the middle, a couple body kicks, he did a real good job of just mixing it up while still managing Ricks. He's throwing these kicks from the outside. Y'all landed a beautiful inside kick there, but it was front kick to the, to the body. Now listen to this. That is a massive body kick by the last style bender. Normally that would hurt. It didn't seem to bother you all very much. <laughs> I have to wonder aloud when we might see an uptick in the aggression from Yoel Romero, just given the fact that this is his fourth yeah, UFC right. title you fight. Give the judges something to score. If you're getting paid for a championship fight, let's see what you do. Let's go. Back it up. Back it up. Dan Leon right. to give That's him his two odd. sets. Yeah. Yeah. That's very that. odd. I've never seen that before. He said you got to give the judges something to score. Well, there, there was plenty to score in that round. Yeah, I scored Izzy's round. You know, the third yeah. round was Izzy's round. Good low kick by Izzy. He's coaching them on. Yes. He's saying, let's go, keep Not. going. That's very strange. I mean, he can take a point, obviously, for timidity, but it's weird to see a referee get so involved. Especially in a title fight, right? Yeah. When, when, when the, the rewards are, are, are how damaging it could be to do that. Yeah, I mean, this is a really high stakes game they're playing. Because either one guy can shut the other's lights out. You know, and when you look at this, right, how much credit do you give Robert Whitaker for going in there for 10 rounds with this guy? He spent an hour in the octagon with this guy <laughs> and really went and just fought him. You know, and, and Izzy's fighting a smart fight, but he's not necessarily just engaging Romero and giving him a chance. And again, I just want to bring this one, one more time. It, it shows you how crazy good Paulo Costa is. Yes. Because Costa just took it to him. Yep. He fought Romero like Romero fights everybody else. And he it, just pressured him and stayed on him. And had he emerged healthy out of that fight, he would be challenging for the UFC middleweight title tonight. You can hear Izzy's coach yell, circle, circle, circle. He's not allowing Romero to set traps and get him stuck on this side of the octagon. That's where you find yourself in danger against Joel. In the open, he has not been able to really catch up to Izzy. And Izzy is following that game plan. He's not allowing himself to get caught up. And all right, now a break in the action due to an eye poke. Adesanya appears frustrated, although did acknowledge that maybe there was an inadvertent foul. I'm sure he's frustrated with himself. Let's see a look at it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
because you're both doing it. Just try to keep your fingers closed when you're in close range. Okay, please. I'm gonna bring the doctor to look at you. Are you okay? I'm gonna bring in the doctor to take a look. Let me see. Oh, they're gonna bring in the doctor. Oh no. Oh. You got a rag or a towel to wipe the sweat and take a look at his eye? Doctor is in to take a look at that right eye of Joel Romero. Yeah, for sure. Okay? All right. Okay. Well, please be careful, all right? What do you see, DC? Look at y'all's right leg, though. Watch the I mean, okay, both that right leg from all those leg kicks yeah. starting right. to get damaged. Oh, oh, oh. Megan just told me, she goes, look at his okay, leg. Timing, let's starting to swell. It's getting pretty beat up. Inside and out. Yeah. Oh! Romero was able to briefly ground out of Sonya, but unable to follow up. Look at all that redness on that wow, leg, though. You that see leg that? Is lit up. Yeah, he lit him up out there. He's beating up his legs. That has to be very encouraging for Izzy, though, to get up that quickly after being taken down. And it's when Izzy goes southpaw is when he's landing that outside leg kick. Yeah, that's been the better stance for him tonight. Coming up on the two-minute mark here in round four. I mean, Yo's just jumping. Starting to sense maybe there's an urgency in that brain of Yoel Romero. Last two times he's fought for a UFC belt. He was ineligible to win the title after missing weight. It's all in front of him here. I mean, less than seven minutes to go. But he's going to have to go. I mean, right now, Adesanya is doing Let's enough go, to win this fight. Come on, you gotta fight. And honestly, if I'm Izzy, I'm, I'm worried. Because the way judging has been in MMA lately, Nothing feels good, you know, nothing. This can't feel safe right. with the way things have been going. Adesanya defensively moving his head beautifully. Did it again there. Close your hand. Again. Hit that leg kick again. That, le that right leg is really nasty looking. Look at it. That's going to affect his ability to close the distance for sure. Yes. And Romero have a tougher time checking those kicks if he's pressuring. If he's standing back, it's easier to check a kick. You can see him more easily. Oh. Right? Oh. Kick buck with him there. Romero ducks back to avoid that high kick. Not as heavy on that lead leg now. Shot from Romero, Adesanya's takedown defense holds up. Couple nice strikes there though from the soldier of God. 10 seconds. The waning seconds here of round four. Five minutes to go to the side of the middleweight Ducked title. Under that question mark kick like he knew it was coming. His vision is insane. I mean, 42 years old yeah. with that type of vision is crazy. And th there's the reflexes. Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is the last round, Joe. This is the last round. This is the last round. Look how you finish. You're fresh. You're fresh. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Look at these low kicks that are really chewing up that right leg of Yoel Romero. Look at that one, buckled the leg. Izzy's got perfect timing on that. Boom, now let's listen to this one in real time. Oh. Oh. That one had some steam oh. on it. <laughs> that hurts just hearing That's it. That's why I play hoops, you know? <laughs> Done with that noise, man. All right, fifth and final round. All right, guys, final round. Give him something to fight over. Let's go. Let us see how Yoel Romero approaches this round. Israel Adesanya has been 
pretty darn effective over rounds three and four. I mean, I'm watching the fight, and I, I, I think it's pretty clear that Israel Asante is winning. But I just got a text from one of my buddies at home and goes, you always winning the fight. And I'm like, what are you watching? I mean, it, he's not doing anything. Is right? he a judge in Texas? Oh! Oh! Oh, we're going back to Texas. I thought Texas might be in the corner in timeout right now. <laughs> but I guess we're going back. In the corner in timeout. <laughs> Yoel was not fighting with any sense of urgency. But he always seems like this. Like he just lulls you into a false sense of security and then tries to explode. Oh, beautiful low kick. Those hurt. And that thing's really swelling up now. It's got lumps on it. Okay, so when you think about the judges oh. in this fight, right? Izzy landed no strikes in round one. Three strikes in round one. Round two, very little happened. Oh. Three and four, it looks like Izzy won the round, right? right? This is what I'm hearing now. So maybe the guy is watching the fight more like it's being contested. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know. It's hard to call fights while you watch them, but it's hard to imagine that Yoel is doing better. We'll, we'll get the total strikes by round and we'll get a look at it. And there it is. Nothing doing in round one. Slight advantages in two, three, and four, and now five for Adesanya. That's what I would imagine it would look like in the judges' eyes. Look at this. It's such a slow pace. But Izzy did a great job there of avoiding that takedown, and Yoel did not like that leg kick. Yep. Romero has not been credited with a takedown on his three attempts. Well, if he's going to wrestle, this is the time to try to incorporate that because it feels like he's a step behind. Yeah. Well, the UFC championship has eluded Yoel Romero. He has two and a half minutes to go here to try to dethrone Adesanya. The smartest man in MMA, Dominic Cruz, just texted me and said, Izzy's not doing much more than Yoel. So he, I mean, everybody feels like this is just a weird fight. And honestly, how many of Yoel's fights aren't weird? The, ma the majority of them are pretty weird. Yes. It's just what happens. Yeah. It's either weird like he doesn't make weight, or it's, it's weird like... Stools and... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember Kennedy that time fight. he wouldn't come back out oh, against Kipkin? Yeah. yeah. And then he knocked him out, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> very, very controversial fight. Because he was badly hurt right before that. Yeah. Nice left from Romero. He needs a lot more than that, and not a lot of time to go. Adesanya wow. wisely evades, checks the clock under two minutes to go now. Oh, he stung him with that left hand. Romero's had a pretty good minute here. Well, it's, it's got to be his last minute. I mean, yeah. it's minute and 24, he's really got to go for it. You got to think, man, but regardless of what happens here, um, you can't be mad. You can't be mad about the result if you didn't truly go out there and put an exclamation point right. on the performance. Right. Oof. Yeah, he's, he's reacting to that low kick now. Oh, Romero just had that right hand high enough to prevent that kick from getting fully through. seconds of this fifth and final round. First defense of the undisputed title for Israel Adesanya. Oh, that one hurt him bad. Look at the lumps on that right leg. I mean, that looks horrific. So it looks like not much is going on, but look at the damage Joel has taken. Yeah. Couple oh, nice God. strikes there with that left from Yoel Romero. Has had a pretty good fifth round, all things considered. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Romero seemingly raising his hands in victory. So there it is, Israel Adesanya. 
And Yoel Romero, a little dust up there late in the fight. They go the 25 minute distance. I don't know, man. Not the fight we expected. No. But at the highest level, there's risk management. There's so many things that go into it. Well, it's just, it's, no one can tell you how they should fight each other. They know what they're capable of, and they know what it's like to be in there with each yes. other. And when you're dealing with a guy like Yoel, who's so insanely explosive and powerful, and when you're dealing with a guy like Adesanya, who's so clever and technical, um, it's hard to find your rhythm, and it's, it's, it wasn't the best fight. All right, this fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. I've been tasked with doing a fight recap. That's one punch by Yoel, double jump and kick lands for Yoel. That might win him round number one. Leg kicks by Izzy. I mean, early it did not look like much, but by the end of the fight, you could see the damage on the legs of Yoel Romero. As we keep going, another overhand lands for Yoel Romero. It was very few, but when he threw them, they had damage. Big kick by Izzy, and then he does a cartwheel. Yoel yells, throws a right hand. <laughs> they punch and go at each other a little bit, and then they yell at each other face to face. The most aggression that we saw the entire fight. But I mean, I, I was on edge the whole time because you know how yes. fast things can change. Well, on the tension of a UFC title fight. You never know. Yeah. I mean, at the end of it, nothing happened, right? Nothing gigantic happened. And off camera, Romero just did like 100 push ups. There is Paulo Costa, the Brazilian. Hard to believe he could be involved in no, a fight he would like never that. Be involved. <laughs> I mean, he fought you all Romero like that. Was ne there was no risk involved. And honestly, he would do the same thing against Israel Adesanya. Um, whoever Paulo Costa fights with his belt next, it's going to be an amazing fight. Things getting tense here. It looks like the buff has made his way into the octagon. Adesanya and Romero go the distance. Here is the official decision from Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 48-47, and 49-46 for the winner. And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last All right, I'm here with the winner and still champion, Israel Adesanya. Let's let it settle. A difficult fight, a an odd fight. It, uh, it was a hard fight. But, cliche, I did what I had to do. You can see he's gonna be limping after this. Look at his leg. Yeah, we Look at his leg, I fucked his leg up. 